intrauterine devices, or IUDs, have been getting a little bit of a bad rap lately, with legal commercials asking for IUD users to join a class action suit. Well, joining us today with a look at IUDs is Dr. Kim Cox with the Pocatello Women's Health Clinic. Thank you so much for coming in. Kind of give us a little bit of an overview of IUDs and, and how they work as far as contraception goes. IUDs um, have been around for a long time. They got a very negative rap in the 1970s because of complications mm -hmm. and because of um, uh, multiple partners, sexual partners, in women who are using IUDs. Um, since that time, the IUDs have changed and are much better, and, uh, and habits with them in not having multiple sexual partners has significantly reduced the risks of infection. There are hmm. two IUDs in the United States that are approved. Mm -hmm. One is a copper IUD that lasts about 10 years, and one is a progesterone IUD that lasts about five years. So, I mean, these are long spans of time, and <coughs> I'm guessing a woman would choose an IUD if they're not wanting to get pregnant for a significant amount of time? Usually, you, it, it works out that if you're gonna use the IUD for about two years, it will be more cost beneficial hmm. for you than birth control pills. Okay. So, so the upfront costs are usually worth it if you, um, if you uh, are going to use it for about two years. You can use it for whatever period you want to. That is, it can be removed at any time. Mm -hmm. It's not fixed for that period of time. So if you change your mind, you want to get pregnant, you can do that. Okay. And so when uh, a person is deciding this, this, you know, to go this route, what are some of the things, aside from the, the time frame, what are some of the other things? I mean, you mentioned before that back in the 70s, you said they got a bad rap. What are some of the things that people need to be aware of? You said that's improved, but is there still a chance of like infections or with um, it? Sure, um, IUDs are a wonderful contraception. They require very little maintenance. It's not something you have to take every day or every week. One thing we do suggest is that since being aware that the IUD is in place is your confirmation that you have a contraceptive benefit, we make sure that you confirm that the IUD is there every monthly ba on a monthly basis um, uh, and during your own personal hygiene. Um, the main benefits of the progesterone IUD is that it significantly reduces menstrual bleeding mm -hmm. and actually has a use that's prescribed not for contraception, but simply to reduce heavy periods. Oh, a side it's, effect. Yeah, it, okay. it's, it's a very desirable side effect. Huh. Um, um, and uh, the one adverse effect is that when you first place an IU, uh, the progesterone IUD, if you're not breastfeeding, then you may have up to two or three months of irregular bleeding. Mm. If you're breastfeeding when you place it, you're likely to move right out of breastfeeding huh without having any periods at all. And there's about a 50% chance that once you're on the progesterone IUD, you won't have periods. Oh, the copper wow. IUD is a little bit less expensive, mm -hmm. lasts twice as long, has a little bit heavier bleeding and cramping. But for women who want to avoid hormones completely, yeah. the copper IUD is it's a good a way advice. To do it. It, all of the IUDs have a small infection rate related to just after placement. Really quickly, we're, we're almost out of time here, but I've heard that sometimes people have a hard time getting pregnant for a little bit after they have an IUD removed. Is that the case for a that lot of people? not the case. Okay, so you could immediately get pregnant mm -hmm. if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All Very right. good. Dr. Cox, thank you so much for joining us today. And coming up next, social media has put a new twist on wedding planning etiquette. What you should know before you post your wedding plans for the whole world to see.